Yeah, 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 yeah. You cooking with P. Yeah, 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 yeah. You cooking with P. Yep. You cooking with P. You cooking with P. Hey, what's up, everybody? This your boy, and today you are cooking with P. So today we're going to be doing something that my grandma used to make. Uh, I think my mom made it a couple times, but it wasn't really on her radar as far as a breakfast item. But um, what I'm talking about is fried apples. Ooh I'm telling you, fried apples. So we're going to do it in the air fryer. Uh, it's, it's really a dish that I wanted to learn how to make. Um, but I didn't want to do the um, skillet thing like like back old school. So um, I went on YouTube and found a couple of recipes that they did it in the air fryer. And um, so with that being said, let's get this thing cracking and popping and let it do what it do. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna try to find three apples that are pretty much exactly the same size. Because one thing it's about when you're cooking in the air fryer, um, say if you have like a like a really really big slice of apple, and then you have one that's kind of small, uh, it's going to vary uh, in the cook time. Because basically you're going to you're going to set your air fryer at a certain temperature for a certain amount of time. So uh, you want these pieces to be uh, equally in size as best you can. So uh, with that being said, I have a bowl here. Uh, my wife gets these apples Kroger and they are honey crisp apples. So let's see, usually they're all about the same size. So let's take a look. That looks I'm only going to do three, so I think these three are pretty close. Let's look at this one. Okay. So we'll use these three. And we'll seal this back up. Okay, so we're going to rinse these off real quick. Okay, so our apples are rinsed off. And uh, my wife has this gadget. I've been seeing this in the drawer forever. I never knew what it was for. I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't know. It's like, well, I know it was slices or something. But anyway, this thing works perfect on apples. And uh, you can pick these up really cheap from the dollar store and so forth. But uh, basically what you want to do is uh, place this center hole uh, right over the core. And you want to apply some pressure. Oh, we got to run away. All right, so, so we got slices. We're just going to set those to the side. They look pretty even and uniform. Get rid of this core part. This should be a really, really short video, but here we go. Oh, stays. All right, so there's our three apples. It's pretty good. Next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of margarine or butter. 
put it in a glass bowl and heat it up in the microwave. Just a little bit. You don't want it hot. You just want to get it melted. Okay, so I'm going to put it in for about 10 seconds. Hope this thing turns out as good as last time. It was pretty decent. So you can hear my butter is popping and cracking in the background. All right, let's see what we got. We'll go another 10 seconds because it ain't quite right. Think about that butter when you're melting it in the microwave. You don't want to. You don't want to burn it. Um, it's basically smaller increments is best. Okay, so here's my butter. we're going to do is we'll take our apple slices place it in here and we're going to and what we're going to do is we're going to rub these apple slices all around so they can get nice and buttery and basically what this is for is a little bit for flavor but what we also want to do, what we also want to do is um, have a little coating of butter on there so this um, light brown sugar can stick to it a little better. Quick rinse. Okay. So now we've got our light brown sugar, and I guess it depends on how many apples you have. I'm gonna use about a cup. You don't have to be precise. I'm gonna use a little less than a cup. Right now, this is a fourth of a cup. I'm gonna use Two of these, so it'll be half a cup. This is where we're gonna start. Like I said, it's light brown sugar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to get that light brown sugar on these apple slices. Ooh, it smells smelling good already. Looking beautiful, looking beautiful. Okay, so we've got our light brown sugar. We've got our margarine. Set these two over here out of the way for now. And so what we have now is we have our apples and they are coated with butter and light brown sugar. Because we're gonna go ahead and preheat. The Chefman at.
Okay, so air fryer should be nice and warm. Gonna hit this with some vegetable spray. Also, just a quick reminder. Um, you want to put a little bit of water in the bottom of this pan because when this brown sugar drips off of these apples, uh, what's going to happen is that's going to stick to your tray in the bottom and that's going to be treacherous to clean. So we're going to add a little bit of water in the bottom of this tray. Just so when that brown sugar drips down. Okay, so now we're gonna place our apple slices in here. Oh yeah. Boy, this is smelling so good. Said, this is a really really pretty easy recipe I don't know how hard it is to make the other way in the skillet I guess I should try it so I can compare the two So all our apples are placed and um, you want to keep them as separated as possible. I mean you don't want to really lay them on top of each other because the way the air fryer cooks is sort of like a convection oven and air circulates through this whole uh, container. So, uh, uh, so basically you want to keep that uh, as separated as best as possible. But uh, anyway with that being said. for a taste test. We've been frying apples in the Chefman air fryer for 15 minutes at 370 degrees. I have placed the fried apples back into uh, the bowl that I had previously mixed with butter and light brown sugar. I've sprinkled a little bit of cinnamon on top of my fried apples. Let's see what we got. Dang on near perfect. Ooh. That's better than IHOP, Waffle House, and Bob Evans all rolled into one. That's air fried apples right in your own home in about 25 minutes. So this is PJ Willis signing out. Thank you for watching Cooking with P. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you next time. JTV.com